friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 plus nuclear sclerosis let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter keratome in this case i am doing only one side port here it is so this side port is about three clock hours away from the main incision now this is a white cataract and i am going to stain the anterior capsule with triban blue dye underneath an air bubble if we use air bubble the staining is very fast very quick it stains within five to six seconds the dye is then washed out and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is filled off with this viscoelastic substance. This is a totally unedited recording and you are going to watch each and every step of the surgery. Now see the capsulorexis. This is a non-intumescent white cataract. So I will do an adequate size terexis at on go. The capsular tag has been raised by a 26 case main needle. Now I hold this tag with a uterta forceps. Go anticlockwise. Keep the anterior leaf of the main incision lifted up and go all around and do an adequate sized acceptable rexis. This is not a circular rexis but this is a fairly round rexis. Now hydro dissection is done at 2-3 points and then the nucleus is rotated. Visco is again injected, methyl cellulose is injected again and now the machine being used in this case is Oatly Catarix 3 and here goes the tip of the FECO handpiece into the anterior chamber. Bevel down, some superficial lens matter is removed. Then the handpiece is turned, the bevel is off. Now see, this is submarine job. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus for some distance towards the opposite equator, and then the chopper is used, and the nucleus divides into to heminuclei. Each heminucleus is then subdivided into smaller pieces and then these smaller pieces are emulsified with ultrasonic energy and removed. I mean FECO 2 mode from the very beginning. FECO power used in this case is 65% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and this is the last portion of the nucleus I remove the chopper occasionally to maintain the anterior chamber whenever I remove the chopper Leakage from the side port stops and the anterior chamber stability becomes more. Since I have made only one side port, I have decided to use a 23G Simco in this case. This is the Simco and very quickly you can remove 
the cortex with this instrument. The side port is a little larger, but it is three clock hours away from the main incision. So whatever astigmatism has been induced by the main incision is getting neutralized to some extent by the side port. And now a foldable intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed by irrigation before that this is hydro polish you can see some lens fibers at seven o'clock we can remove that later First goes the intraocular lens. This is hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Appasami Associates. Super Fob. The lens has gone into the capsular bag. The lens opens very slowly, but within a minute it will take its original shape and now the side board now the cortex which is there at 7 o'clock is being removed if you use the main incision for irrigation keep the anterior leaf lifted up and the anterior chamber will be formed this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. The lips of the wound become thick and the wound closes. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Some visco sticks to the corneal endothelium. It is removed nicely. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. And then the integrity of the wounds are checked there should not be any leakage from any side. The main incision that I make doesn't require any hydration. The eye was like this before surgery and after surgery the eye looks like this. This is the beauty of fake emulsification. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to raise your surgical skills to great heights. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.